trying to prevent more deaths, the need for better, quicker diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. One day you're just going around feeling quite well and quite happy, and the next day, you know, you, you, you could well be dead. Hello, good evening. Yvonne, who's recovering from the disease, also says there needs to be better support. Also on Spotlight tonight, becoming a smash all over the world. Breaking glass! Great work, uh, what's holding this glass in place could soon be helping people in hurricane-prone areas. And the question which keeps being recycled, how will we cope with our rubbish in the future? A charity is warning that more should be done to stop people dying from pancreatic cancer. There are over 200 deaths from the disease in the southwest every year. According to Pancreatic Cancer Action, 90% of patients are diagnosed too late for surgery. Amy Lewis has been speaking to one woman in Launceston who did have the disease detected in time and has now made a good recovery. Hello. Morning, this is Carl. Yes, that's me. Thank there you. Are, young lady. Thank you very much. There is a lot to celebrate. Yvonne Cass is 60 today, but it is a birthday she didn't think she'd reach when she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer four years ago. I was just shocked, really. I, I, when I was first told that there could be something wrong with my pancreas, I ne never even thought about it. I mean, the last time I thought about a pancreas was when I was in the sixth form at school and um, doing biology, and uh, I'd never thought that you could have anything wrong with it. Whilst Yvonne's treatment ended successfully a year later, many others aren't so lucky. On average, 259 people in the southwest die from pancreatic cancer every year. 90% are diagnosed too late for surgery. Even if something was found in a laboratory today to, to cure the disease with a chemotherapy drug, for example, it could take at least 10 to 15 years to reach the clinical environment and benefit patients. So in the meantime, what we have to focus on is uh, getting people diagnosed no sooner in time for surgery as that's currently the only potential we have for a cure. 69% of us admit to not knowing where the pancreas is. It's positioned just below the liver. The symptoms can include weight loss, stomach pains, jaundice, diabetes and sickness. Patients diagnosed have a life expectancy of just four to six months. I'm just really very lucky and and I, I can understand the effect that something like this out of the blue has on people's families and the impact that it has on everybody that, um, you know, you, you, one day you're just going around feeling quite well and quite happy and the next day, you know, you, you, you could well be dead. Avon's birthday wish is for more money to be spent on research and for families to be given more support. Amy Lewis, BBC Spotlight, Launson.